Live look from the Luminary Hotel, downtown Fort Myers, crossing over the Calusachi River, the Calusachi Bridge. Everything here tonight, nice and quiet. We can still squeeze out a couple of sprinkles. Rain chances today, though, overall at just 20%. So today, basically the driest day all week that you can expect. So if you are out and about this evening, the good news is that rain probabilities will stay in your favor. Again, could squeeze out a sprinkle or two, but as of now, that threat for lightning really non-existent. Heading into tonight, tomorrow morning, it's going to be a cloudy start for sure. First half of the day featuring those mostly cloudy skies and heading into the afternoon. Scattered downpours will be developing and with that flow primarily out of the south and west, best chance for that wet weather will generally stay to the east of I-75. So Glades, Hendry into inland Collier, Inland Lee, Charlotte, DeSoto counties. That's where we'll have the best chance of dealing with those scattered downpours, but it certainly looks like radar tomorrow is going to be a bit more active. So heads up there, rain chances for tomorrow afternoon increasing to 40%. Going up even more so as we look ahead to your Wednesday, better opportunity will keep those rain chances 40 to 60% for your Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. So those rain chances today, the lowest all week long, and then staying elevated through Friday. But looking ahead to the weekend, looks like we'll see another shot of some drier conditions. Breaking down tomorrow, cloudy skies, upper 70s for that morning commute. Then heading into the afternoon, do stay weather aware as those scattered showers and storms develop, mainly affecting our inland community spots along and east of I-75, but all of us need to be prepared. And then making those evening plans as of now, partly cloudy skies are forecast. And some good news too, with that cloud cover hanging on, your heat index values should generally remain in the upper 90s, close to the triple digits, but out of heat advisory criteria. So afternoon evening storms, the name of the game for your Wednesday. Then looking ahead to the weekend, isolated storms expected on Saturday as fall officially begins on Sunday.